Hello and welcome back to Mr. Myers Math Magic. Today I'll be teaching you a trick that includes my two favorite things, math and magic. So, to perform this trick, the first step is to separate the cards by suit. So you have spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. So I will do that now. Okay, so now that I've separated them out, I'll look at each stack and order them from two through ace. So starting with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. So now I'm going to do that with all of the stacks. Okay, now that I have them all out like this, the pattern that I'm going to do is spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. But if I do them all in a row like this, you'll see that all of the cards are the same. So, what I'm going to do is do it so that for each of the values, I'm going to be adding three. So I'll go three, then to six, then to nine, and then 9 plus 3 is 12, because there's no 12. 11 would be jack, 12 would be queen, king would be 13. So then I'll go to the queen, put it right there. So now all I'm going to do is do spade, heart, club, diamond. And now queen, which is 12, plus 3 would be... 15, but you can't go past 13, so it would be 2. So that's why you flip the cards over. So now I have the 2 of spades, but you do that with all of the decks. And now you continue to do the pattern. Spade, heart, club, diamond, spade, heart, club, diamond. And these are all increasing by 3. Like 10 plus 3 is 13, so I know the next card is going to be the king of spades, three of hearts, six of clubs, nine of diamonds. So now the last step is to just turn all of the cards over. So dealing from the bottom to the top. Okay, so you go all the way down. Okay, so now the deck is ready. The last step was that I had flipped all the cards over, and now the trick is ready to perform. And now before explaining the way that you do the trick, I'll perform the trick, so say, someone chooses a card. So now I've not flipped the card over, not seen what the card was, but I know that this card is the eight, of diamonds. Eight of diamonds. So now, the way that I was able to do that was by looking at the bottom card, it was the five of clubs. So I do the bottom card plus three. So bottom card plus three got me to eight. And then with the suit, the order is spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds. So if it's clubs, the next one is diamonds. So that's how I knew that this was the Eight of Diamonds. And when performing the trick, you can cut the deck a few times. That still doesn't change the order of the cards. You can also show the cards to the audience, because just looking at the cards, you will not be able to tell that they are in a particular order, even though they are. So, any card is chosen. And without looking at the card, I take a look at the bottom card. 
So in this case, the bottom card is the 10 of hearts. So 10 plus 3 gives you 13, which is the king. And it should be the king of clubs, which it is. Okay, but when you are doing this, you have to make sure that you don't actually shuffle the cards, because then that would just get them all mixed up, and then you wouldn't be able to perform the trick. But now, say someone chooses the card, take a peek at the bottom card being three of hearts. So what should the next card be? Clubs. The six of clubs. And when looking at the deck, if you do actually look closely, you can see the pattern being 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But when just scanning the cards, they're so systematically spread out that I, most people will not be able to tell. Okay, so again, the way to set it up is to go count by threes and going spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. So the order being spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds, spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds. And it continues to go in that same systematic order all the way through. So when a spade is on the bottom, I know a heart is on top. And this should be the jack of hearts because eight plus three is 11. 11 equals the jack. So this does include a little bit of, ma of math. The only math that you need to do is some number plus 3. And if that number is greater than 13, then you minus 13 from it. So say it's an 8 of spades. I do 8 plus 3, which equals 11. 11 is the jack. But then say it was the jack. So then jack plus 3, because jack is equal to 11, is 14. Then 14 minus 3 would give you 1, so the card should be the ace. Once you have the deck set up like this, you can be ready to do the trick at any time. But one thing to remember again is that you should never shuffle the cards. Like, if you do end up Shuffling the cards like that, it will actually mess the trick up because all the cards will be in a different order again. But if I just shuffle the cards again, trying to get them perfectly back in that original order that they were in. Okay. So now let's see if it does still work. So choosing any card. This one was the King of Hearts. A card on the bottom was the Ten of Spades. So again, choosing any card this time will not look at the card. So the card on the bottom is the Eight of Clubs. So what should that card be? The Jack of Diamonds. So make sure that if you do shuffle the cards once and end up losing the order of them, that you do an extra shuffle so that the order still does not get messed up. Thank you very much for watching this. If you like the math, the magic, or the mire, make sure that you like and comment the video below. Also subscribe. If I reach the 100 subscribers, I will be revealing more magic tricks.